Hi friend, this how are you doing? Welcome to our channel, Utopian Penny. Today we are going to see chapter two, a foundational concept is in management information system. Here we are discuss going to discuss about data information, knowledge, and something like that. And we are also going to explain organizational information needs and sources. It means what organizational informations are required and what are sources of this information. In addition to that, we are also going to explain the characteristic and importance of system concept in the e-business. We are going to explain what electronic business is. In addition to that, we are going to see a framework for understanding management information system. So stay tuned and we are going to see each of them in detail. Let me start with an in, um, introduction. Let me see the introductory part. Mm, as you know, management has been defined in a variety of ways. Management can be de defined in many ways. There is no single definition of management in fact. It can be defined based on different perspectives. But for our purpose, it comprises the process and activities that describe what managers do in the organization. Managers do many five activities. Their activities are planning, organizing, initiating, controlling the operation and staffing sometimes. So it can be defined from this perspective. Another one is because decision making is such a fundamental prerequisite to each of the foregoing processes, the role of MIS becomes that of facilitating decision necessary for planning, organizing, and controlling the work and function of a business. As such, decision making is important. So the role of management information system is to facilitate this activity, in fact, in order to facilitate as such activities. From the manager point of view, information system serves the purpose of reducing uncertainty regarding the alternative course of action. From management point of view, information service reduces uncertainty. Uncertainty is occurred uh, because of lack of information. So uh, the advantage of MIS is in order to produce these things. Another one is availability of information regarding the alternatives improves the odds in favor of making a correct decision. Information is recognized as one of the most important corporate resources. It is not only the buildings and uh, another asset that can be taken as a resource. Human resources or information is also a great resource. So uh, this implies how much information is important. Another topic is business and management functions, business areas. Managers are found in various business areas of the firms. The three traditional business areas are manufacturing, marketing, and finance the regular and well-known areas of a business are marketing, manufacturing, and finances. In addition to other two areas that have gained major importance, human resources and information services. So this one is so important. What managers do? What are the activities of a managers? Let me see. Okay, uh, Henry Fowler, it is a well-known management theorist of a French scholar. According to him, the management activity is generally divided into five. There are ma five major functions of a managers. Those are, the first one is they plan what they are going to do. The first activity of managers are planning. They plan what 
they have to do what their staff have to do too. The second one is they organize to meet the plan. Their second activity is they organize to meet the plan. It means they organize those activities. The third one is study. They allocate human resources or another resources for the plan to be achieved. And the fourth one is they give a direction for the resources available. And finally, their uh, activity is to control those resources, keeping them on courses. All managers perform this function over with varying emphasis as shown uh, below. So now let me see the figures. Here is the figure. As I told you, there are five major functions of a management. Those are planning, directing, staffing, organizing, and controlling. However, those activity is varying depends upon the level of management. For example, the strategic planning, uh, the strategic level of management is mainly focused on planning, while the middle one focus on organizing and the operational or the lowest level of management is in many cases they focus on directing okay they focus on directing so this figure implies simply what is the role of management what are the function of management is now let me back to our main topic what the data what information, what knowledge, and what wisdom is, what those issues are. Let me see data. Data is basically raw facts and figures, simply. Raw facts about people, raw facts about places, raw facts about events and things that are of importance in an organization is known as a data. A data. However, the processed data is known as information. The raw, if the raw factors, if the raw uh, data about people, place, events are processed, it will become what? Information. And a knowledge is a data and information that is further refined. The data is processed into information and information is processed into what? A knowledge. knowledge. So, data and information that is further refined based on the factors, truths, and beliefs, judgment, experience, and expertise of the received is known as what? Knowledge. Another one is wisdom, good sense. The ability to make a sensible decision and judgment is known as wisdom, good sense. If you have enough ability in order to make a sensible decision and the judgment is it is known as a wisdom the information makes a person more knowledgeable this one is obvious and information makes a person more knowledgeable knowledge is an awareness and understanding of a set of information that help decision making Knowledge helps in order to get an awareness and information for what purpose? For a decision making purpose. Okay. Knowledge makes a person wise. I hope you hear the term a knowledgeable person, a wise person. A wise person is the one with a good knowledge. So as you can see in the data, the following data is processed to do get information information makes a person knowledgeable knowledge adds to a wisdom this is how wisdom is earned so the information needs and the sources who are the information users? Information is basically required by all staffs 
However, the information needed by one staff is quite different from another staff. Okay, for example, managers is the one who need information from the management point of view information serves the purpose of reducing uncertainty regarding the alternative course of action in the process of decision making information is recognized as one of the most important corporate resources and so the manager is the one who need an information. The idea of using the computer as a management information system here was a breakthrough because it is recognized managers need for problem solving information. Embracing the MIS concept made several firms develop application specifically aimed at management support. So this implies simply the manager is the one who needs an information. Another one is non-managers. Non-managers and staff specialists also need management information system output. It means they need an information from MIS. Another one is persons and organizations in the firm environment. This persons and organizations in the firm environment is other stakeholders such as shareholders, for example, governments. And another stakeholders also need an information. If this part is needs those information, what are sources of information? What are the source of information? An organization's information needs are made through gathering information from both internal and external environments. Internal information can be generated by maintaining and processing the business transactional data and overall organizational data or information. To this end, information systems such as TPS, internal database system play a very critical role. So external information can be generated from different sources. The first one is various public, uh, publication of the central, state or local government. Another one is various publication of international bodies. The rest one is technical or trade journals, books magazines and newspapers reports and the publication of various organization reports of research scholars in different fields public records and statistics historical documents and all these are what all these are sorts of external information Now let me see a system view. 